Visual Network Analytics version 2.5 is available for pharma risk analysis. Pharmaceutical companies need to manage risk in a number of different areas, two examples being anti-drug counterfeiting and clinical trials analysis, specifically adverse effects that new drugs may have on patients when those drugs are being tested. In this particular example, we'll look at some clinical trials analysis. I've analyzed some FDA data on patients, specifically the drug names that, they've, that they're taking, the reaction that they've had, the treatment date, including the ending date and the start date. And in a table format, I can start to look at some patterns of behavior. I can also, through our 100% zero footprint product, I can begin to analyze this data in a column format, analyzing and moving columns or sorting things from high to low and low to high. Here you see I've just sorted it based on the actual reaction date. Okay, now let's look at some profiles of the patients pre-built in the form of a dashboard. So here I'm looking at the patients by gender, females and males, and you see the count. And I have a drill chart so I can start to look at this in greater detail, for example. I could look at the age of the patients. Most of the patients are in the female category, in that 49 age category. I also see a number of peaks here. And so you can start to look at the age itself. Now, on the right-hand side, I'm looking at a timeline of events. Let's take a look very quickly at the settings associated with this timeline. We're looking at the treatment start date and the end date. And we also have tooltips configured so I can look at the reaction that the patient has had, the drug name that they're taking, the lot number, and the manufacturer itself. So as I go and point at specific patients, you'll notice I can see the treatment start date and end date, 122 ended on 3-4. You can see the different drugs. In this case, this patient's taking a number of drugs, the manufacturer and the reaction, injury, dry skin, other reaction types. The blue dot is indicating that they don't have an end date, so they're still being treated in this case, and you can see the reaction times. Now here we see a heat map that's in essence showing us the count of the patients by the manufacturer. So in this case, it's mostly GlaxoSmithKline, but you see other manufacturers, Eli Lilly, Abbott, Abbott Laboratories, and Baxter. Now what's cool about Centrifuge 2.5 is that interactive visual analytics allows you to go ahead and have these visualizations talk to one another through streaming data broadcasts. You'll notice I have the timeline set up so that it's listening and now what I'm going to do after just highlighting a couple of uh, manufacturers, I'm going to go ahead and broadcast that data. So let's just come in and broadcast it as a selection. As I do that, notice the timeline on the right you get certain areas highlighted. So I've got almost everything there because I've selected a lot of the data. So let me show you another example where we're just doing a subset and we'll broadcast this. Streaming data broadcasts show you specific areas within the visualizations that you need to focus on. Now these are highly interactive so I can zoom in, I can pan, I can go ahead and drill down if I need to and look at greater detail such as, such as the types of drugs that these patients are taking. So dashboarding and chart analysis, timeline analysis, all available. One of the core capabilities in Centrifuge is our ability to do relationship mapping. The relationship map on the right is showing you the patients, and the patients connected to the drugs that they're taking, the reactions that they have, and in a much smaller scale and yet visible on the graph, the manufacturers of the drugs. And you notice that certain areas here are ha highlighted, and that's because what we've done is we've looked at the symptoms, specifically the reactions, and we've broadcasted that over. Now, a few things before we get into that is we have scaled, using link intelligence, the relationship map. So where you have a drug that's connected to a lot of patients, like Relenza in this case, it's going to appear larger than any other drugs. We've also scaled the width of the links based on the age of the patient. So older patients, thicker links, younger patients, more narrow links, and we've scaled the size of the patient based on the number of reactions that they've had. So if a patient is larger, for example, this patient has got many different reactions, potentially taking more than one drug, and you can see manufacturers as you start to look and zoom in a little bit closer. Now, what's cool is through streaming data broadcasts, I can take a look at some of the more serious symptoms 
like anaphylactic shock, abnormal behavior, suicide attempts, and I can go ahead and broadcast that as a selection over to the relationship map on the right, and you'll notice that a lot of that is tied to just a number of different drugs. You do have a pattern of behavior over here streaming out to this particular patient, but it's largely in the upper left-hand corner associated with this relationship map. Okay, so this is highly interactive. I can come in here and I can zoom in if I need to. I can start to configure this, move any one of these links and nodes around, change the sizing, or I can come in and using the time player, which is new in Centrifuge Visual Analytics 2.5, I can start to play information about that in the form of a time analysis, specifically when the treatment took place or when the treatment ended. And you'll notice now that the relationship map is being built based on the timing associated with the clinical trials that have been done. So Centrifuge Visual Analytics combines agile data integration with dynamic relationship mapping and interactive visual analytics to tell a story and profile exactly what risk is, avail is, is exposed for pharmaceutical companies. Now in this case, I'm just going to stop this. Keep in mind, folks, that this is all based off of a centrifuge data view. And very easily what I can do is integrate data on demand, on the fly, in near real time that brings in more than one source. In this case, we just have life sciences drug interaction data. And you'll notice as I zoom in, it's the reaction, the treatment date, the age, the gender, and other things. But I could go in and define new sources and just join that to my life science drug interaction data, which makes this very valuable in a world where the social enterprise means more and more data is being collected in the form of blogs and text, enterprise data, and data in the cloud. Centrifuge Visual Analytics, Visual Network Analytics is available for free evaluation. You can go to centrifugesystems.com to try it for free.